Welcome to Sexes Overdrive, everybody. We're trying out something new. The intro music is going on while I'm chatting it up here. And uh, when we come through, we're going to talk about what happened with my DR650 that's been in the shop for a while and Canadian as I am. That's what we're going to be saying here today. Hey, guys, welcome to Sixes Overdrive. You know what? I brought my motorbike in to the shop. Uh, the last motor vlog I did, of course, you saw that I was uh, putting my bike into the shop so we could get some carb issues sorted out. It's a little bit better, guys. We up-jetted, and uh, I can feel crispness for sure, but um, it's not 100%. My mechanic uh, told me right up front, he said, man, it's the carb. You know, there's a, they have some kind of thing for dirt bikes where it opens up a rod and pumps it in, he said, but I asked him if I could get that, and he said, uh, no, that would be a whole different carb. This one doesn't have the capability. This one doesn't even have a needle adjuster on it, apparently. So anyway, guys, uh, it's definitely running better. It's got some good crispness. It feels nice and powerful. But you still have to ride it kind of aggressively to uh, get some power out of it. Which is a little bit unfortunate, you know, it was uh, it was just about a hundred bucks to get everything. Oh yeah, it's got a lot more snap off the bottom though, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely... It's got a little bit of a lag right at the bottom end. Ah, uh, kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway guys, so there was the $90 experiment uh, by the time I paid for the jet and him to do the labor because I wasn't going to do it. And then I was going to talk to you again about uh, Canadian. I just figured out this weekend that I am truly Canadian. Like man, <laughs> we were out at the farm and uh, <laughs> guess what we were harvesting out at the farm. Okay, first of all we had an auction sale for farm equipment. Okay, that's that's pretty Canadian in itself. Everybody driving around in a little truck, uh, putting up some uh, different uh, farm equipment for sale because my father-in-law is retiring. So we did some of that. Uh, meanwhile, after that day, it was like plus 15. Well, the next day we woke up to a lot of snow, which is very interesting. You know, we're a couple days away from Easter. And there it is, just snowing like crazy, another big Canadian event. And, uh, yeah, and then after that, um, not after that, but kind of during, at the same time as, we, uh, we were, uh, harvesting sap. <laughs> That's right, we tapped some maple trees, and, uh, we were making uh, some maple syrup, some Canadian maple syrup. Talking to the moose, having some maple syrup. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Kind of a fun little thing we started doing at the farm. We get like uh, get maybe five or six jars out of it, and we tap the trees. You got to do it at a certain temperature when it's kind of you know about uh, you know so it's negative degrees Celsius at night. So maybe you know two to two to ten degrees below uh, during the night. And then uh, during the day, it's got to be plus temperature, so the sap runs. And then you put it in these little, we've got it rigged up, so we've got the little taps. And then we hang one of those uh, four liter jugs of milk off it and attach it to the tree like that. And then it just drips into that. And when it gets about half full, we take it down, put another jug up, and we put it into a big pot and we boil it. Because, uh, uh, like, it's very um, diluted when it comes out of the tree you got to dilute it down 40 times to get sap so in other words you know you got like a, a half a pail and you just end up with like this much at the bottom of the pail by the time you've boiled it all up but you know every year we've been getting like five or six jars of of maple syrup which lasts all of a couple days um, here in the land of the north and uh, but it, it's kind of a cool thing to do right like it <laughs> but it definitely, definitely makes you feel Canadian. And of course, even driving today down the street here with the DR650 after my mechanic looked at it. This is the first day I've been able to drive my bike in a week because it's been snowing off and on. Um, we're past Easter. I hope you all had a great Easter and uh, 
you know, maybe resolve to turn over new leaves and stuff like that, drop some bad habits and pick up some good ones. Uh, I know some of you think of that as New Year's, but I honestly think that uh, this is a good time, spring, it's a new season, it's new beginnings, all that kind of stuff, uh, especially if you're part of the Christian faith with the new beginning thing. Uh, you know, I hope you all, the way you enjoyed Easter, I hope you uh, enjoyed it to its fullest. So anyway guys, that's what I came to tell you. Still cold out here and we're past Easter and uh, we're just getting rid of some of the snow here. Uh, it should be gone by the end of the week. It's going to be 15 degrees so expect some more motor vlogs. And uh, in the future I might be putting something up here to review uh, what I think of uh, having a uh, like a Android versus an iPhone, you know, since a lot of us are using the GPS systems and stuff for our motorbikes and for phones and for systems like Cena's, uh, how everything works out for your motorbike, whether you should have an Android or a iPhone, iOS. So anyway, guys, this is Overdrive, and I'm reminding you to share, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's been fun talking to you, and I hope to see you soon. This is Sixes Overdrive. Bye-bye.